You know, Dave, I, I just got a text message a couple of days ago from a friend of mine, and he said, you know, I think I'm finding my way back to God. And then he said, in addition to that, I think I'm realizing that I can't do this on my own. And I love it because he's experiencing awakening number three, awakening to help. I can't do this on my own. In our experience personally, and also those people that we've talked to, has been this experience that finally people get to the place where they're done with the sorry cycle. They're done with kind of this awakening of longing and then regret as they pursue that longing. And then they pursue again and then another regret. And longing and regret, longing and regret. And they finally get done, say, I'm sorry, I'm done with this. And that's when they go like, I gotta find help somewhere else. And that's where you get to this, this third awakening. Our experience has been that these awakenings are in many ways kind of like the 12 steps. They talk about the 12 steps and they say the 12 steps are both how you get sober and how you stay sober. These awakenings are how you find God and also how you stay close to God. And when you finally come to the end of yourself, you go like, I need help. It's kind of like you hit bottom. And we say that help has a name. You actually need to name your higher power. And that higher power is Jesus. And we hope that as you're walking through these awakenings uh, with us, that you are continuing to pray that prayer. God, if you're real, make yourself real to me. Because in doing so, again, you're naming that help that you need, and that's Jesus.